Here we know there is no downwards force or acceleration on objects. So you can see at the bottom of the bottle, the air bubbles in the water just completely stop and just stand still. The density of the bubbles is obviously less than the density of water, yet they are not rising. Downwards acceleration known as gravity, F equals mg, buoyancy equals rho gv. The water has mass and is apparently being accelerated down at 9.81 meters per second squared due to gravity. Enter other claim here, example electrostatics, RDD, etc. F equals ma or F equals mg. We know air bubbles rise in water due to being less dense slash buoyancy slash electrostatics or whatever you claim. Yet when falling, they don't rise. Where did RDD or buoyancy or electrostatics or whatever you claim go? The downwards force on the water would be more than the downwards force on the bubbles, yet the bubbles don't rise as they do when attached to earth. Much easier to lift dog in zero g or when falling as no downwards force acceleration acting. We feel forces or acceleration yet feel nothing when falling. Perhaps because we aren't being acted upon by a force or accelerating. Look at what happens at points of acceleration. We ready? Uh -huh. Even in the corner of making blocks. <laughs> right. Ah, dazzle. Right. Are we ready? Your camera on there, Marty? Yep. Right? Ready? One, two, three. Here goes forward, water goes back. Hitting the brakes, water goes forward, yep. air goes back. Smoke. What we see in the situation there is that the ear references the directionality of acceleration so that being that the water gets thrown to the back of the bottle and the air gets propelled forward so the air shows you the direction of acceleration so that's what happens in a concealed a sealed unit of liquid and gas and it displays acceleration and deceleration for us let's check a device for measuring acceleration an accelerometer when i accelerate the system in the positive direction along an axis I get a positive acceleration reading in that direction. Sitting on a surface, it says that it's accelerating at 1 g, 9.8 meters per second squared. Yet, unlike a car speeding up, it isn't going anywhere. Now let's see what happens when I drop it. It registers zero acceleration as it's falling. Newton's second law of motion says that force equals mass times acceleration. So, if the acceleration measurement is zero, then any measurable forces acting on the phone must also be zero. Gravity must not be a force that causes the phone to fall to the floor. Now let's show that the acceleration of gravity is upwards, not downwards. If we simply lift the phone, the reading is always greater, not less, than 1 g. Same thing with Earth's gravity. At the moment, there's no gravitational force acting on you. Because gravity is not a force. There's a force acting on you from the ground, which is the reason why you are not freely falling into the center of Earth. Since there's a force acting on you, you are accelerated. You're at rest relative to the surface of Earth. And you're accelerating at the same rate as the surface of Earth. The relative velocity is zero. Flat earthers actually have this part right. What does it mean that gravity is not a force? 
It means that if you fall in a gravitational field, you are not accelerated because there's no force acting on you. The reason the bowling ball and the feather fall together is because they're not falling. They're standing still. There is no force acting on them at all. All objects appear to fall the same way because well, they're not accelerating. I want to ask you, are you watching this video in an inertial frame of reference? Well, I mean, do you feel weightless? No. So you are not an inertial observer. Your situation is exactly the same as someone accelerating on a rocket ship in deep space. And let me be clear, I don't mean that being at rest in a gravitational field is like accelerating in a rocket. I mean, it is the exact same thing. You are accelerating and there is no gravitational field. Gravitational fields do not exist. Gravity is not a force. You have no weight. So the only force on you are these normal forces pushing you up. So you are accelerating upwards. But I'm not moving up. Relative to what? I mean, relative to the flip chart and the floor and basically everything in this room. But all of those things are in your frame of reference, which you know is not inertial. Relative to everything in my rocket ship, I'm not accelerating. What you need, if you really want to measure your acceleration, is someone in an inertial frame of reference, like the guy who fell off the roof. And he would see you accelerating up at 9.8 meters per second squared. And in that, Einstein and Newton differ. Newton would say if you jump off a roof, the force of gravity is pulling you down. Einstein says, nope, if you jump off a roof, you take away the force that was pushing you up. Now let's show that the acceleration of gravity is upwards, not downwards. If we simply lift the phone, the reading is always greater, not less than 1g. Same thing with Earth's gravity. At the moment, there's no gravitational force acting on you. Because gravity is not a force. There's a force acting on you from the ground, which is the reason why you are not freely falling into the center of Earth. Since there's a force acting on you, you are accelerated. You're at rest relative to the surface of Earth. And you're accelerating at the same rate as the surface of Earth. The relative velocity is zero. Flat Earthers actually have this part right. What does it mean that gravity is not a force? It means that if you fall in a gravitational field, you are not accelerated because there's no force acting on you.